Alright, and we are back again. This time using the Talon Mercenary Engineer. Using the Suppressor. The new, uh, rare pistol. I think, uh, now we're playing against Geth. Oh, that's gonna be good for me. I think it's stunlocked to oblivion. Also getting shot from God knows where. Is it you shooting me? This guy's down. What the hell out did that miss? Whoa! God damn it, hold on a second. Let me let's just finish this round. I don't know where I'm getting shot from there. Right, there we go. So, this class is kind of odd in that it doesn't have Oh shit. Never mind, let me let's just finish this class uh this uh wave, sorry. Teammates are having a bit of uh, bit of trouble, and I keep taking a lot of damage. And it's because I'm off holes that it like it. It's really odd how it works. It, like it, it'll feel like you're not getting shot, but you'll just be taking damage all the time. Yeah, that guy's dead. What? Yeah, right in the crotch. Right, okay, there we go. So, Talon Mercenary Engineer. It's an odd class because it doesn't have a melee attack in that on one of its powers is this, uh, this Omnibor thing, so if you hold down B, you uh, you fire the Omnibor, and if you just tap B, you fire a sort of, like, uh, cluster shot thing, in that you just sort of fire, like, five arrows, or, uh, five arrows all over the place, that's a, a tongue twister. But if you hold down B, you'll fire them all in a sort of straight line, so that'll do a lot more damage to your target. And uh, there's a there's actually a uh, what you call it, like a thread on the Bioware forums that has been like created by a moderator or a developer, it's, uh, Eric Fangin or Fangin, I don't know how to pronounce his name. But yeah, it's actually really helpful. Uh, you should probably go read that if you were uh, you know if you want a better a better idea of a Spectre's class and use it. But basically, if you want your Omnibor to do damage, you just add, uh, you know, you add your strength enhancers and that, which is what I'm using at the moment. Um, and that, you know, because like I said, like it's with the B button, uh, like it counts as a melee attack, even though you know it actually isn't a melee attack. And then if you use these, uh, you you can have two arrows. You can have armor pieces and arrows, which is what I've got, and you can also have uh, concussive arrows. And obviously, armor pieces and arrows good for armor. Concussive arrows good for barriers. And what they do is they add obviously an effect to your arrows, and they also add damage to it, and they count as a power damage. So, what you want to do is get your you know as many melee bonuses and damage and whatnot on your class, and then add power amplifiers. And uh, I'm not really sure what the how much damage I'm doing with it, but they're doing a decent amount of damage. You know, they can almost one shot like troopers and stuff. And then you also have these cane trip mines, and you can put three of them out at once, and they're like sort of like proxy mines, but except that they uh, they don't detonate when a target's near them. They detonate when the target walks through these uh, these lasers, and these do a shit ton of damage. I think with the the way I've got them spec, they do about like twenty four hundred damage, and that's without any amplifiers. I don't have any. Power amplifiers on that. Just had to go with the cyclone modulator just to see what it's like. This class doesn't have a lot of uh, a lot of shields, or at least it doesn't have a lot of shields when you go spec for for board damage, like I think I've got. I say I think because I, I can't actually remember how I got the uh, the fitness spec out. Yeah, like the fitness on this class uh, counts towards your your board damage as well. So keep that in mind. I mean, it just depends how you want to play the class, really. I mean. I think I'll probably just start specking out of uh, the bore damage and whatnot, and just try and get as much uh, weapon down. Well, not specking out of it because you know I think you know you're always going to have some damage for it, but you know not really bothering as much with it because this class does have uh, good weapon damage. I think at the moment I haven't got any. Um, what is it? I haven't got any weapon damage mods on it and whatnot, and I've I've got not mods uh, gear, and I'm at like twenty seven and a half 
percent weapon damage. And because you know it's, uh, I'll just take a drink for a set of mask getting quite dry. Yeah, because it's uh, you know the, all your powers go off grenades. You can load up heavy weapons. Like I was gonna bring the Harrier, and I probably should have. I was just fancy using the suppressor because it's a new weapon and whatnot. Uh, yeah, I should. Have, yeah, you can bring you know two heavy weapons if you want to, because you know you say your class is dependent on grenades, like the demolisher. So I figured, you know, you can bring some at like the Harrier or the suppressor that runs out of ammo quick, because you know you're gonna be running uh, ammo boxes anyway. So why not? But like I said, I, I haven't got, I should have probably spec for, like if you want to spec your your power, your, what do you call it, the weapon damage tree. Uh, I spec the fifth point in for power damage, but you know, if you spec for headshot damage and you get the extra 20%, you know, this could be a sort of, not, well it won't be as good, but it could be a sort of rival for the Dwell Infiltrator as weapon damage goes, because uh, you'd be doing a fuckload. I said 27.5% weapon damage is uh, is pretty nasty. And this uh, this suppressor is a really good gun. Like apparently it's like on the campaign. I don't think it does it on this, but it's supposed to be like you know if you fire an enemy that doesn't know where you are with this gun, they, you know they can't find you because you're suppressed. But uh, I'm about to die here for God's sake. Um. Yeah, but it also it has a you know it has a decent size clip of ten shots, but it does loads of damage anyway, and it it has things it has a ridiculous headshot modifier. It must be like three times or something like that, because you will shred stuff if you hit in the head. So that's another reason probably to go with the you know the headshot damage. So like I say, it probably will respect its class and just make it sort of um, you know like a weapon damage class with trip mines. So the trip mines are really good. I should probably use them a bit more here. They're just a little bit awkward because like uh, some of these walls sort of have like curved corners like this, like these walls here. And like if you try to fire it there, I actually managed to get it there. But a lot of the times I'll try and like fire it there from this angle and end up like hitting it on that bit there. So it won't it won't really be like a good place for for the enemies to walk into. But yeah, you can have three of them out at once, which is pretty good. So, you know, you could do what I've done here, where you put them, like, in three different places, or you could just, you know, line them up on one wall. And uh, they're really good for taking out bosses. Speaking of bosses. As I said, they're just a little bit tricky, because, uh, you know, if you're like me, like, I'm used to proxy mine and recon mine stuff, just, uh, you know... If they're anywhere near them, you know, they'll get hurt by it, but these you gotta be a little bit more precise, so not not too much. Uh is he gonna walk through that? Don't think he's gonna. I'll put some on here. Oh yeah, walk through. There we go. I probably should have uh, put on the the thing that gives you extra thermal clip packs. They'll probably end up using them quite a lot. Is that is that friendly? No, oh, apparently it is. That was a really bad accuracy. But yeah, as I said in the other video, like the. These arrows work the same way as the Geth Siege Pulse, doesn't it? Like, you know, you you spend one thing to, uh, one grenade to turn them on, then you have your three shots. Although, you don't, I don't think you get any, uh, any sort of, like, you know, d uh, what do you call it? Damage reduction and whatnot, like the, the Geth does, or the, uh, the Collector. Which is a shame because like I said this class, the way I've got it specced for my like, bow damage and I, it only has like 600 odd shields, so not too strong. It's kind of weird because like the, uh, you know, the, the, like the sort of class description, it's like, oh, you know, years of being a mercenary has made you tough and stuff like that, and you know, you look at your shields and health and say, like, wow, that's, he's really tough with his like 600 health. Come through the fucking door, dare you? Yeah, look at that. 
That had some really bad targeting on it. Yeah, they um they actually changed the the heavy melee like the sort of sniper bow shot because originally it took like three seconds for it to fire, but now it just fires like instantly, which is good because the sort of the default shot where you fire like the scatter shot is actually like really bad at hitting stuff. I mean, it it probably only really works when the you know if you use like a shotgun sort of thing, but even then it's not great. And that's a good spawn for it. Thank you very much, game. Uh, where are they going to spawn? If I can get this in a good place for some trip mines. That should be alright. I uh, need some cover. There we go. Walk, walk through the trip mine. Well, there's a double kill at least. I'm not sure if uh, if drones will trip them. Get out the way. Yeah, I'm getting some ammo. Oh, I'm getting sniped. I don't even know where they're going. I'm firing them and they're just disappearing. I'll just put them on the floor. Maybe they'll walk into them. Okay, there's one on the wall there, apparently. Yeah, like... like they are kind of hard to use because, like, you know, in this situation, I'm trying to, like, get them on, like, the wall or something, but with the... You know, there's so many enemies about, I don't really have, like, the time to be precise. Yeah, that should get him. Yeah! Oh shit, I'll get you. Oh, no, he's got you. So, yeah, overall, it, it's not really that bad of a class, actually. I just think that the Omnibore thing is kind of like the uh, the Gef, uh, not the Gef, but the the Paladin shield sort of thing. It seems a bit so gimmicky and you know not as helpful as like you know like the rest of the class that it has to offer, or not as you know not as good as the rest of the class has to offer. Well, the, the Paladin shield is definitely better than this. Like I said, this is like kind of this is just a complete sort of gimmick. It's, it can be quite powerful, but, you know, the the weapon damage you're putting out and the, the trip mines are just going to be a lot... You know, they're going to be doing a lot more damage. I mean, pretty much the only thing they can do, really, is just keep buffing the, uh, the damage on it. Yeah, those trip mines, I'll have to start pulling them out a bit quicker. Yeah, as you can see there, I mean, like, look at these two, like, I fire them pretty much in the same place, and, uh, you know, they're, they're in, like, really bad positions. I mean, I think the, I think the Omnibore would have been, you know, better if it was just an actual power, so, you know, you press, like, RB and it fires one. Instead of this like awkward, you know, you have to uh, like uh, you know load in your your armor piece and ammo, then you gotta fire it. Yeah, it should just be like a sort of grenade power thing. Oh, I'll get you. Oh shit. Hold on a sec. I mean, that's the thing, like, I, I, it doesn't really, it's like, I don't know, like, it, it could be, like, a grenade or something would be better. I mean, grenades are, like, some of the best powers in the game, because it's just, like, especially our grenades, like, you know, like, there, I can only really hit, like, one enemy at a time, maybe two if I'm lucky. So, you know, 
crowd control, not like the sort of best class. I mean, like the, the, the trip mines are good, but like I say, like it's kind of getting the timing down and getting the, like the right piece of. Oh, that, I was lucky with that one because I put that in a really bad position there. Don't know where my team are, but they can't have many enemies. The laser could be uh, doing with being a bit longer on that, but then I guess that might make it a bit OP. Actually, that might have a. I say that, that might have something to do actually with the radius spec you can go with. I just went for straight damage on mine, so. Yeah, interesting, interesting. Oh, that's one thing I forgot to uh, uh, talk about as well. This class has a built in. It's got like a battery charge or something, and pretty much you'll get a free grenade every like 30 seconds, and then you can spec it so it's like half the time, so. Yeah, you. It's not super helpful. I, I'm actually surprised, like, the, the destroyer, the demolisher doesn't have that. I mean, I know it has the, py uh, the pylon thing. But yeah, having, like, a built in, like, pack thing would be quite cool. Uh, yeah, it's it's not too good on this class, but uh, like I said, like on a demolisher or something, that would have been quite handy. More art grenades, the more better. It seems that like another thing with a class as well, like you, you know, you you can't really have both of the arrows, otherwise you're gonna have like no fitness or like no weapon and power damage. Or just skip out trip mines, but then like like I said, trip mines are just fantastic. I wouldn't I wouldn't skip out on them. Oh shit, I thought that was further down the hallway. I'm gonna die. I can get bombers. Okay, I need a little bit of help. And this is with the bloody Cyclone Modulator 3 as well, so oh that just flew right over it. Hold on a sec, teammate. I'm trying to help you. Just trying to put out some damage. There we go. Okay, he died quickly. Is your air button broken or something? Right, fly through the damn thing. Yeah, let him walk through it. There we go. I was waiting for that trip mine to go off, and they were walking right into it. Yeah, that is doing some really nasty headshot damage. Oh, that went through like two enemies there. Yeah, see here the army boy is doing quite well, but like I said, like up close, it's it's not too good. That's why I say I like grenades better because they're sort of like a oh shit, like throw the the grenade at the floor. Yeah, break the cloak. There we go. You all right down here? Yeah, you're fine. Oh shit. Yeah, try and get through that. Never mind, you <laughs> just flies over it. Oh, where are we on here? Eight. Not bad, not bad. Got a lot quicker than that other round was. Probably the only bad thing with this gun is that you, you know, your trigger finger might be a bit sore after it. Get like. Fucking like carpal tunnel syndrome. It it would be good if you could just turn on the uh, the ammo, like the armor piece and arrows, just constantly, and then like you would fire three, and then it would like take a, a charge thing up a uh, grenade when you ran out, and then you would fire three again, and it would do that because it gets a bit annoying trying to. Um, you know, like you, you need the armor piercing arrows, and you're like, oh shit, I don't have them, and you got to turn them on and whatnot. It's only a slight gripe, but you know, it's like, why why would I not want armor piercing arrows on? 
I mean, fair enough if you've got the, the, the concussive arrows as well and you want to switch between them, but when I've only got one of them... Well, yeah, I should put some... Uh, I'm going to put trip mine down there. I just I keep forgetting I have them even though the you know the really good powers. That should have killed you. Help me team, there we go. Need some ammo quick. Damn, that's not going to hit anything there. God damn, the range of them fucking pyros is, is too damn high. Can you walk through that friggin' trip mine? There we go. Oh shit. Kill it quick! There we go. Damn it, let it walk through the trip mines. They do so much damage. Fucking uh, grenades. Even with the grenade one, I feel like I don't have enough. Yeah, definitely uh, want to play this on the grenade map as well because, uh, you know, like a fire base glacier is good because of trip mines, you know, there's so many, you know, it's a small map, there's a lot of doorways and stuff, but uh, yeah, you'll run out of, you'll run out of grenades very quickly. And only getting one back at a time is uh, quite a pain in the ass. I should probably finish it off. If it'll walk through it. There we go. Twenty headshots, woohoo! Take a sip of cola again. Ooh, a piece of cola. Ooh, a piece of candy. Right, rock exerg time. Hopefully that spawned next to some stuff. No, it didn't, but never mind. That's a good spawn. Death from above, bitches! Yeah, keep me covered. Come on, team, man. Use your rockets. Very good. I mean, that's what rockets are there for, right? Destroying armored targets. Oh, shit. It turned around. Oh, that killed it. Oh, that was that was close. Yeah, walk through the damn thing. Get get off the wall. Whew, that was close. They got killed because he wouldn't get off that wall. Luckily, they don't shoot you like over cover like Atlas as well. Kind of annoying. Man, trip mines are so good, I can't say it enough times. Really is like the saving grace of this class. Well, that and the high weapon damage is nice as well. And like I said, I haven't got any, uh, you know, pistol 
damage uh, gear on this class. So, I mean, if I used a pistol rail lamp and uh, I think there's a pistol, just a pistol uh, damage gear thing. Uh, yeah, I could be having a, a fuckload of damage. Plus, I've got the uh, the heavy barrel on. So, I mean, I guess that's where some of the damage is coming from, but yeah. And this is a uh, level 9 as well, so it can still get a little bit better with the with the level of the gun. I really want to... I want that Blood Pack Punisher. I want to give that a go, because that sounds interesting. But I think that's an ultra rare, so I probably won't get that for a while. Yeah, walk into it. Oh shit, I thought that was friendly. Don't think I can actually... They can walk into that. Ah, so if you fire off three and you fire another one, it detonates the other one. I didn't know that. I figured it just, uh, you know, it got rid of it. Interesting, interesting. That's a that's a mechanic that I'll be abusing in other uh, other games. I got you. Run. Ah, uh, not too bad. Now, nah, well, spoiler alert. Oh god, what's happened here? That was odd, it like crashed because I paused it. Did pretty well there. Probably helped getting all the, uh, all the headshots and stuff. Uh, I'll see what we get in a, a pack. Alright, I'll leave as well. Uh, yeah, so as I say, if you check the uh, the Bioware forums, there's a there's a good thread on how to spec your class and how to use it. So yeah, um, go read that if you want to, you know, if you want tips and stuff. Or if not, just uh, like I said, just spec it for like weapon damage and uh, trip mines. It's it's redonkulous. Ultra rare, ultra rare, ultra rare. Damn it. Oh, well, Batarian Golden Fire, I'll take that. The execution is not bad as well, it's like a sort of uh, pocket claymore sort of thing. I like it a lot. Uh, this isn't good, this is kind of useless. But uh, yeah, that's the uh, Talon Mercy Engineer, not a bad class, so thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and see you next time.